welcome back to the channel. All right guys, so here's the diffuser. Um, it's really nice. I mean, the carbon is actually really high quality from what I could tell, built well, um, and it's real carbon, and it's real carbon unlike uh, other parts out there that's plastic wrapped in carbon. This is actually real carbon. The rain light, rain light's awesome. Uh, very, very big rain light with a lot of LEDs. So overall, this thing looks pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's get started. Uh, currently, I have that matte black diffuser that pretty much everybody has. Um, and uh, yep. <laughs> guys is take this little um, this little push push button pin out so, there we go and now you can take this panel off and let's get these two 10 millimeters uh, off these nuts what you want to do is you want to grab behind the mount so we're gonna grab right here and we're gonna firmly pull so just Give it a tug, and there we go. And now you can take that harness off. All right, put that headlight down. And we're gonna splice into this harness for our rain light. And I pretty much know which word to, where to go with it, but we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll look at it again later. We'll peel off some of this uh, tape and then kind of look at which wire to splice. There's gonna be three of them. Next, we're gonna be removing these exhaust tips make things easier for me and then we've got one two three um t's and then one two three four uh eight millimeters so we're going to start removing all this first and then we're going to put in a new one Same thing with the new one. And we're gonna fish our wire through this opening right here and then we'll be good. First, what I wanna do is get my orientation. Maybe this way. And I wanna get my wire up, fed up through here. So we're gonna go through the bumper. Up. Just gonna feed it up here. And there it is. There's my wire. I'm gonna temporarily kind of tie that up right there. All right, that's good just to hold it. Stephanie, I'm gonna put that on a video. Three days later. Go. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna try to put these clips in. <laughs> No! God, please, no! No! Alright guys, so first I'm going to try to match up my clips to the holes and get them kind of laid in to place. And then um, we'll tuck that wire afterwards. So it needs to kind of bend into the, the location here. All right, so we're gonna have to drill out some holes. They're not pre-drilled, which is fine because then I can adjust it where I want it. So I already marked the holes. I'll show you guys how I did it. So pretty much what I did is put blue tape with a dot where I need to drill. And I'm just gonna drill down into it here slowly. One.
All right, guys, so here I am. Um, the wife went to bed, and it took me a while to get this fitment to look de uh, pretty decent. And reason being is because it's just tough to get around these fine edges up here, um, especially when, um, you know, they're just, it's carbon fiber, it's stiff. It, um, now we're gonna go to wiring. So I found out two wiring methods and I'll tell you guys about them as we go here. Let me put this up here. All right, so two wiring methods. Uh, one is black. Let me make sure we can see this here. All right, so guys, one is going to be black with brown, yellow with gray, black, and red at the last one uh, with black and blue. This makes it like a regular brake light. It turns on when you hit the brake, turns off when you let go. If you put the yellow on the right and then the red in the middle, it would flash when you're hitting a brake, so it would just flash and continue to flash. Um, I'm gonna go with just a regular brake, only because just less problematic, no flashing, um, and not gonna freak people out. So black, yellow, red is what we're going for. So let me get the splicers and splice this in. All right, so first is black. We know that's gonna go with brown, fairly easy, ground, brown. That's how it goes. Um, all right, so we're gonna splice over. We're gonna start at the top with the first one, just so we can stagger them a little bit. And we might not even have enough room there, so we're gonna have to go back on the wire on the stripping. All right, so we're gonna go first brown. So we're gonna get up here at the top of the wire. Drop it in, get our black wire, black and brown, and speed this in this way. And then we're gonna crimp it with some pliers. So we got black, max out the black, brown's there, and squeeze it together. Make sure your black's in there. We can also solder this in too, guys. Let's see, did that work? We'll find out. All right, next is gonna be Yellow followed by red. So yellow is going to go with gray black. So get another splice. Going to go to our gray black. Here. Right, close that up, and then last is red with blue black.
All right, so we should be wired up there. If for some reason one of these splices doesn't work, I'm just gonna solder it, because that's the way I like to do it anyway. There's my tinted head, uh, tail light that we did in another video. Harness back on, kind of set it here. And let's check it out, let's make sure it works. Um, I won't be able to see it, so I'm gonna let the camera check it out. All right, let's see how it works, guys. Alright guys, so we got it working. Let's drop the car and then uh, sign out. Uh, pretty happy with it overall. The fitment wasn't absolutely great, but it is carbon, it's stiff. Kinda had to play with it a little bit. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. That concludes our video for the, for the actual diffuser with the rain light. Um, I really actually really like the product. Uh, makes the car look so much better and um, yeah, I just love the light aspect of it too. So everybody's been asking me where I get it, where I got it from. Um, unfortunately, I got it from eBay. I bought the last one at the time. I contacted a seller. They have no posting up right now because they are waiting for stock. I told them a lot of people were interested. As soon as we get stock, I'll uh, make a posting on Instagram and also put the link up on my video so that way you guys can get one. They were like two, it's $225, which is a great deal compared to 400 and up that you see on, you know, everywhere. And I can pretty much guarantee you it's the same one that's four, five, six hundred dollars $600 because they pretty much all use the same carbon manufacturer in China. So uh, once I, they get in, I'll send you guys a link and you guys can purchase them from there. Um, so just, you know, I'm going to try to get that as soon as I can for you guys. Um, they are aware that I'm looking for more. So. Uh, thanks guys. Have a good one. And there's more videos to come on um, Big Boost content. I put a little clip obviously in the beginning of some uh, pools that are just light pools, not full send. So they're pretty good. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.